guys, welcome back to another video today, and the fifth day, the final day for five days of vehicles has been revealed, and it is a motorcycle. It's a pretty fast bike, and it costs a total of $150,000. Now, for it being limited, no, it won't be limited, and I'll explain more about that later. Anyway, I want to show you the location of it. It's a pretty interesting location. It's right at the city, you know, criminal base, so just right over here, and you know, it's right outside, I guess it's really close to the jewelry store so you can go over here and it's a hundred and fifty thousand so yeah i'm driving the dirt bike because you know i thought you know it's related but apparently this thing is i would say pretty good for its price i've heard some good things about it and also some bad things about it but mostly bad things is because people are complaining it's not limited and stuff so anyway let's go ahead and buy it it's called the falcon s and we're gonna go and do this hundred fifty thousand dollars one time purchase three two one and boom we have like i think 40.8 million so i basically lost like one million million this entire update for the five days of vehicles so first of all i have not really like driven this at all okay okay the other thing i want to tell you guys is the bike animations have changed like literally if you weren't even paying attention you would have noticed that how i change has animate like how i like move has animation this is just for the dirt bike and now you can officially use rocket fuel on the the bikes so that means the motorcycle, the dirt bike, I'm not really sure about the vault bike. Let me just go ahead and just go up a ramp. Okay, this ramp over here, let me go ahead and just use some rocket fuel off it. And you can see, yeah, I can use rocket fuel. Before it would just drop you straight down. So that's a thing. And if you're driving a you know dirt bike for some reason, you would probably notice that it feels different. So I think it's a good change because you know the bikes have been virtually untouched for years and it just something that people don't like and they don't use it. So now maybe more people use the bikes. But yeah, just driving this thing around and this is engine level one so it maxes around maybe like 110 miles per hour for engine level one so now let me go ahead and upgrade this and i believe this goes at a max speed of around 170 miles per hour ish so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and officially speed test that later but just given a drive you can already tell it reaches 170 now this isn't the most impressive part about it it can go backwards pretty fast so let me show you we can go all the way to i believe 150 miles per hour backwards which should make this the fastest reverse speed for any vehicle in jailbreak now of course i'm not really on a you know flat and straight road so it's a bit difficult to do that but i'm even even with that i'm still able to uh, reach maybe like 130 which is already faster than the brule which goes like 120 miles per hour i'll go test this thing out when i'm at the drag strip and stuff but i just want to give you those numbers right here okay anyway here's the post up Ademo says day five it's the falcon s sport by guest this is fast bike that comes with sport styling and a custom engine but that's not all we have done a full bike chassis revamp now with player animations new physics and more here's a video from a simo it's kind of low quality because twitter compresses stuff but you can take a look at that and here is a better image of it and here is the five days now the reason why people are kind of disappointed is because there is no limited vehicle but i do want to point out one thing for last year on october 31st 2022 you can see that's last year they did did give a heads up in the very beginning that a car was going to become limited. So this year we just kind of assumed it was going to be limited when that was probably a bad idea and I think that's why people are disappointed. Now one thing I think is probably the issue is because the supercar is on Tuesday instead of Wednesday. I feel like Wednesday should have been the biggest reveal and that should have been the supercar. So maybe they should have like switched the Falcon S with the new Eclair or maybe the successor. Maybe that's a better option because the problem is that you know we lead up all the way we got the supercar we got everything and then all of a sudden we just got something that isn't worth that much i think this is like the, the cheapest out of all of them and uh yeah it's for the last day when the last day should have been the biggest surprise so yeah we got some people complaining like this person says why is it so cheap people saying why is not limited pretty much people complaining about why it's not limited but here's the cool part about it jailbreak officially has bike animation so this is the person that made it tb glitch who has done animations for grand piece online projects layers blocks fruit so they do a lot of that cool stuff and there's officially bike animations now and these changes apply to dune buggy patrol dirt bike and the new falcon s and the volt bike is on a completely different custom chassis so i don't think it works for the volt bike here is the list of today's changes there is a lot like you can see this this is the discord page there's like a ton of changes here the most important would be that there is of course a new vehicle and then there's a new sport bike sound which we're going to check out and the revamp bike chassis for the dune 
buggy, the dirt bike, and also the new bike, so that's another thing. So yeah, I just turned up my sound, so let's go ahead and hear this custom engine. So I'm gonna go in. So yeah, there it is, and now we're gonna just drive around. Yeah, so that is the custom engine sound for this exclusive vehicle. Now I have to say it is a pretty good like vehicle for its price. 150K is relatively affordable and um, it is pretty fast for its price and also has a new chassis which is much easier to control and stuff. And also, yeah, there's also a passenger seat which I didn't even really notice. There was a passenger seat back there. So same as a dirt bike, there is a passenger seat and you can kind of like lean toward the direction you're going. Okay, I didn't even do that. But when you're trying to go like, you know, I'm trying to go right, it's gonna lean that way. And when I try to go left, it's gonna lean that way. Before, I don't think that was a thing. It just sort of like just turned your handbar, but this one actually leans and stuff, which is cool. And there is first person mode, but you know, it might be a little bit, you know, kind of dizzy if you use this a little bit too much. So, but that's another cool part about this vehicle. There is a first person mode. And here's what it looks like with rocket fuel and stuff. And you know, let's go ahead and just go over to the trading hub because I kind of just want to see like the actual speed for it. Okay, we're in the trade hub now. Let's head over to the drag strip and just test this out and I'm going to test that with the Volt bike so I can give you a comparison of the speed. Here's the Falcon S. I'm going to go ahead and spawn it in and now let's go ahead and see the top speed. So all we got to do is just you know hold down the W key and we can take a look and yeah we're going to go ahead I believe it's 170 ish not sure the exact one but we're going to go oh, we're already at 170 this is nice all right so we're going to see the speed here so 173 four is it gonna be four okay 175 maybe 175 that's that's not bad that's not bad i i just wish i kind of straightened out because i'm about to hit the curb right here about to hit the curb I, I don't really like that but look 176 okay now we're really like capping out right here we're really capping out and it looks like 176 is the uh maximum now let me go ahead and go backwards so i can show you how fast it goes backwards now it doesn't go instantly but it can go really really fast backwards and we're about to crash into this person right here or they're just standing still I believe we can go up to hundred and fifty miles per hour backwards so we're almost there 148 but we're really like slowing down now so oh, 149 okay are we going to 150 yeah I'm pretty sure we're gonna hit 150 come on come on we're gonna hit it we can hit oh I don't think we're hitting it oh maybe okay but I believe we could hit 150 so it does go really really fast backwards now it doesn't do it instantly though but you know that is already very very fast backwards overall I feel like the handling could be a little bit better but I mean it's already better than probably Probably the old chassis so yeah I think it, it is does it does a good job there's also drifting with the new vehicle and it's at least a lot easier to do than you know the regular old chassis I would say with the dirt bike so they did improve the chassis a lot to uh, you know make this okay maybe that's the best but you know I mean before I feel like when you were drifting you would just go turn like very hard to the right or very hard to the left so it was uh, you know I feel it's a bit better all right now I realize what I forgot to do. I want to compare this with a Volt bike because I feel like you know if I'm gonna compare this to a dirt bike, it'll be a, it won't be a fair race. Or I mean, I feel I feel like this won't be fair either. But you know, we can at least see like how close this can get to the Volt bike. So I believe the Volt bike goes maybe like 200 miles per hour plus. So we're gonna oh we already see that. So 214, 15 around this range. I know it was around this range. So it kind of makes sense. So the Falcon S can go like 175 ish, and the Volt bike goes 215. So that gives you a idea of how good the Falcon S is. I mean, it's only 150k and it's already doing well, not exactly the closest, but you know, it's already going fairly fast especially for a vehicle that costs 150k. Now, I feel like this vehicle, the Falcon S, would be a primary vehicle for people who are just starting the game because it's very affordable and it is pretty fast and it's probably gonna be a good getaway vehicle for police. Overall, it's a decent vehicle. I just feel like people are disappointed because they wanted a limited on this day and of course, Simo didn't promise a limited at all. I think we should have all looked at it and saw like, hey, there was no limited to begin with because you know, last year, Asimo did say there was gonna be a limited like before the event even started but however there is technically a limited in this update if we go over to the safe you guys know there's a lab you at lowrider and if we head over to the garage and sort by you know newest if i was just there the lab you at lowrider is limited now this doesn't mean it is limited right now it just means in the future when they you know rotate the stuff out of the street safe maybe the lab you at lowrider will go out and then it will be officially a limited but it is labeled 
as limited on the garage. So that's one thing I think you guys should look at. But you know, Asimo does limited pretty often. There was one like a few months ago. So it's not like an uncommon thing for a limited item. We do get them quite frequently. So I don't think I would be too disappointed about this update. We got some fairly good revamps and also three new vehicles. So that's a good thing for jailbreak. Anyway, let me know down below in the comment section what you guys think about this entire update. Do you guys like it or do you guys not like it? To me, I think it was a good revamp and also introduced a lot of vehicles so yeah let me know down below anyway if you guys not make sure to leave a like subscribe and yeah i'll catch you guys later bye